Hi, my name is Cody and I am the CTO of Medplum. Today we're going to do a quick intro to the Medplum repository and get it up and running. Uh, some prerequisites for this exercise. It's assumed that you will have Git, Docker, and Node, and NPM installed and set up on your machine. And with that, we are going to clone the repository. We will build all of the projects in the mono repo. We'll start some background services. We'll start the Medplum server. Then we'll start the Medplum web app. Then we'll log in and maybe create some resources in the front end tool. Okay, let's get started. Uh, here I am in a clean directory, nothing installed. Let's go ahead and clone the repo. Git clone git at github.com medplum slash medplum.git. Great. We can now go into the Medplum directory and check out all the packages available. Uh, like I said, Medplum is a mono repo, so this is everything in the Medplum project. Next, let's go ahead and install dependencies with npm ci. Next, we can kick off a full build with npm run build. Great, the build is complete. So now we're going to start some background services. For that, I'm gonna flip over to a different console and go into our Medplum directory and run docker compose up. This is going to download and install and set up uh, Postgres and Redis. And with both, it will set up the database schema. That was pretty fast. So let's flip back to our other console. Now we're going to start the API server. So CD packages server npm run dev. While that's wrapping up, we'll go ahead and start another terminal to start the front end web application. Similarly, it is npm run dev. Great, now that everything is running, we can open a web browser. We will navigate to localhost port 3000. There is the default web app. The default username is admin at example.com and the default password is medplum underscore admin, all lowercase. Obviously you'd want to change that right after setting up the project. We can sign in and here we are with a clean project on the medplum server. On the left hand nav, you can see the different default resource types, including patient. Let's go ahead and create a new fire patient resource for demonstration. I'm going to give you this patient the name Homer Simpson. And there we go. You can see a timeline of resource history, resource details, and here's the underlying fire resource JSON. Great. And with that, we've completed our initial setup. We cloned the repository, we built the project, and ran the application. Uh, check out the www.medplum.com for more documentation on what to do next. Thank you.